Alright, bye. Tana, you're not gonna believe this. You're not gonna believe this. That was Rob Lewis, my friend from GW Law School. He's at Baker and McKenzie, New York. He just called. We talked to Angela Vigil, the head of Pro Bono there, and they're gonna do WMI's X work for free. I can't believe it. I'm here with the Women Microfinance Initiative Mobile Loan Office, and um, we're leaving for after tomorrow, so we need to pack all of our documents in this bag. And some of the documents we're taking with us include the Get Ready series, which is a set of training materials that we're going to give out on the first day. And um, it's basically to give them an idea, an idea of what it means to take out this loan, and you know, have them ask themselves some questions about whether you know taking out a loan and running a business is something they really want to do. At least we made it to the village this first morning on January 2nd when we're going to help the women fill out their loan applications. We have three groups of meetings at 9 and 11 and noon, and hopefully after the fourth one at 2, the band will be back in working order. So I, I am really excited that... Uh, we are coming up with this microfinance program and I am very sure that with a little bit of training these rural women can have a golden chance to get themselves involved in activities that can earn them money so that whatever they have borrowed they are able to pay back but also to build on their own capital and maybe break even and say bye bye to poverty. Walking past Olive's house and her shop, up to Kamita's Hotel, which is right here down the street from Olive's. Hi, 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 It's already got the shelves in it. So as soon as she gets supplies, Olive Limbo's shop will once again be open for business.